Hello ladies and gentlemen, Simon here, and we are starting on Vikings Season 3. Um, I want to say a big thank you to today's Patreon super supporter, Frank Treble. Thank you very much for your support, Frank. If you guys want to get a shout-out as a super supporter, you can support me through Patreon below and get access to full reactions and other cool stuff. Um, so, Vikings Season 2, I, I very much enjoyed that season. The expansion into Wessex, um, you know, the sort of... Yarl Borg uh, storyline, and then that finale where we just did not know what was going to happen. We didn't know who was on whose side, and um, as someone mentioned in the comments, the entire episode, other than the prayer, Ragnar did not say a word, and I love that. I love the fact that he did not have to be front and centre um, for that episode to be fantastic, and I think that's one of the strengths this show has, is its strength in diversity in terms of its characters. You know, I could watch... An entire episode based on any one of the characters. Floki, Rolo, Siggy, Lagatha, you know, Athelstan, anyone. It doesn't have to be... This isn't the Ragnar show. He is the main character and a lot of the stuff does revolve around his actions. But this is not his show. And I love that, you know. It's such a great way of making sure that, you know, you can, you can have amazing moments without them having to rely upon this one character so i'm very much looking forward to seeing where we're going to start season three how far ahead we're going to have jumped um what this season is going to entail i'm assuming this is going to be the season of king ragnar because he has the king's sword um which makes him king i guess uh, but I don't know what he's going to want to do. It seems to have calmed down in terms of, like, they've got the land in England now. Uh, there's Vikings working as mercenaries. I, I just don't know what, what is going to happen next. So there's only one way to find out, and that's by jumping into the episode. So let's go. Come back another day. Earl and shield maiden. And perhaps I may tell you exactly the moment of your death. That's not the way I want to start the season out. Like if I talk about death. Ooh. What an awesome shot. Oh, Ragnar's cut his hair. What do you see? Power. I don't know about this. I like Ragnar's Power? hair. I am coming with you. Mm. You can't stop me. She is a handful. Want to cook you little piggies? Oh, and eat you for dinner. Oh. Um, Ragnar. <laughs> oh. Oh, is that Sigurd? Snake Eye? Families are not happy. Yes, they are. Name me one family which is happy. Agnes. <laughs> which one? Oh. <laughs> Ouch. Just look at her. Yeah, but it makes me too happy, Helga. You don't love the daughter? He doesn't, not what I meant. He doesn't like being happy. Explain it to me. You will see sense. Perhaps I will die in Wessex. Wow. Floki. Oh. Where are you going? Away. Just away. You're so horribly good. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen anyone be so distraught over being happy. Do you love me? Oh, shit. Oh, he took a bit longer to answer this one. Come on, they're setting up the Lagatha Ragnar reunion. Not with me. <laughs> Good. Nip the problem in the bud. You mean me? Wow. Well, everyone's got problems. Ragnar doesn't know what to do with his kid. Floki's happy. Rollo's cold. And hates fish. You take one as a wife, the other as a concubine. No. They hate each other. Oh, wow. They want to kill each other. Kill me. 
please just tell me when are we sailing out of here? <laughs> he just wants to leave. <laughs> I feel like this uh, this episode should be called like domestic bliss or something. See, in these shots, it doesn't look like winter. The sea is um, thawed out, and you know it looks quite warm, or at least you know tepid. You're being stupid. I see. You're going to die. And you deserve it. Your gift was foolish. Yep. I don't think you'll use it against me. Would you really kill your own Earl? My Earl? What? Persuade your family to support me as Earl. And we will get rid of the woman who usurped your uncle. What does she do for what us? Are you, what? Are you, what? She goes raiding with Ragnar Lofbrook. I had no idea. And that is the beauty of it. Oh, you treacherous snake. Ragnar and Nagatha. Where is the glory in that, Einar? Where is the glory in that? Oh, no. Right, like of heart, you don't go back there. You stay in Katagat. I think you should stay. Then we mm. should stay. Interesting. Okay, I didn't think Rag Ragnar would go with that option. Skull. Skull. Which is also a beer. I feel like I should drink Skull every time I watch Vikings. Imagine that. Granddaddy Ragnar. I mean, how old's Bjorn gonna be here? Is he gonna be like 20? Can't be too much older than that. Ooh, that I could have her. I'd marry her tomorrow. And we'd have lots of children. And be true to each other. Torsten, you already have... You have enough pregnant women in your life. <laughs> Tied on the air, new ice, a coiled snake. The sons of a king, an ailing calf, a witch's flattery. Time and again, the wise are fettered by beauty, and they ache with love longing. Lucky are the fools like you, Tushtan, who remain unmoved and free. <laughs> I wouldn't call him free at the moment. One day will come a reckoning. Jesus, Torsten's got a it's lot possible to imagine a world in which of ale. One god and several. Oh shit! 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 shit. Well, they were definitely ready for them. Oh, that was close. Yeah, they can only have so many arrows. Well, there they are. I love the uh, the yellow. Shit, is that Samir and Trent? Who's on me, is it? Now's the time. Not so much that force; it's the other force that looks quite large. Much smaller than those on their left. And as far as I can see, there is no bridge. Yeah. There's no way the two armies can easily rejoin. Going for the smaller force. We attack your uncle. Unless that's the plan. Send the horn! Unless they're intentionally making that force look smaller. Right they're turning towards us. 
It is, it's Sir Meryn Trent. Holy shit, man! He is now the king. He's gone from the king's guard to being the king. Why are they just attacking my uncle? Because... Oh, the <laughs> He's the weaker one. They're out of range. Oh, you didn't think this through. I cannot help you. What were you planning on doing? Seriously. Did you not think that being river apart would be a bit of a problem? Here we go, boys. They've never seen the Vikings fight. Oh, is he going to see her? Oh shit, that moment. Go on, Torsten. Ow. <laughs> He's like... Oh shit, shit, shit. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, shit. Floki. Why, why did, I mean, I know it was your uncle and all. Take the crown, Floki. Is she happy? Is she shocked? I can't tell. I think she's a bit of both. Okay, wow, this is a very kind of odd opening episode. Um, focused very much on... Well, at least the early part was focused on catching up with life, what I presume is at least a couple of years on from last season, um, and focused on everyone's domestic problems, like Floki is unhappy because he's happy, Ragnar is unhappy because, well, I'm presuming that, you know, he's got this dilemma with his son and with, um, with the princess, whether he really loves her or not anymore is a big question. I think... I think this season is really trying to set us up for uh, Lagatha and Ragnar um, reunion, um, which would be brilliant. I'm totally, totally on board for that. Torsten has the problem of having two pregnant ladies, both out for each other's blood and his blood. Uh, Bjorn's um, lady is um, not one who is going to take orders and uh, is insistent on fighting, which, you know, I think reflects his personality quite well. Um, but is is something tragic going to happen, you know, to her or him because of the fact she came along? I'm not sure. I get the feeling it's kind of building to that. Um, and then it kind of evolved into this battle in uh, Mercia, which was interesting. I mean, I, I still can't believe how stupid the Mercians were. Um, what did they expect? The, the, there's a wide river. They've got a smaller force on one side and a larger force on the other. What did they expect Ragnar and, and the Vikings to do? What, just stay in the middle so they could both shoot them? No, they're going to go off towards a smaller force. What they should have done is intentionally made that force look smaller and had a reserve army behind them to back them up. And, well... As we saw, Meryn Trent is dead again. Um, so that's one of the problems taken down. Um, and I'm guessing that some of this season is going to focus on taking on um, the brother. So, and then also the farmland as well. The stuff going on in, um, is it Hellersby? Which is where Lagatha is currently heir of. Um, that went away. I didn't expect it. The, the guy who she had entrusted to watch over the lands, wanting to betray her. I didn't see that coming. That was that was a bit crazy. Um, 
but a really good episode. It was just very, very weird at how slow it kind of brought us into it and how, with everything being peaceful, people weren't truly happy, which is, I guess, you know, war and provides a distraction that, that takes you away from normal life. So plenty of stuff to go this season. Um, I don't like the new haircuts. I prefer... Ragnar's old haircut, I'd prefer Bjorn's old haircut, uh, there's just, yeah, it's just change isn't always good. Um, well, it's obviously there to provide us with a bit of a, a, a reference to time having passed. One thing I do like is the fact that the Mercians um, have bright yellow, um, because one thing I sometimes struggled was to try and tell who was who, because you look at the, um, the Wessex forces and they normally either wear like um silver armor or you know rather bland clothing the vikings always wear sort of browns and blacks and and you know sort of beiges that you know are very hard to distinguish at times um but you know on a battlefield when you've got someone wearing bright yellow you know that they are the enemy kind of like with Jarl Borg um his forces had the shields that were you know bright yellow so at least you had that as an identifying feature um but no I'm looking forward to this seeing where the season could go so yeah We'll move on. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you for the next one.